Today, we will discuss on how to solve quadratic equations by factor. Ano ba ang ibig sabihin ng factoring? Kapag sinabing factoring, it is a process of finding what to multiply together to get an expression. Marami tayong mga types ng factoring. Una, we use the greatest common factor. Pangalawa, factoring by groupings. Pangatlo, difference in two squares. Sum or difference in two cubes. Factoring trinomials. We have also factoring general trinomials. Itong mga types of factoring na ito ang magagamit natin to solve quadratic equations by factoring. Paano ba tayo nagsusolve ng quadratic equation by factoring? A quadratic equation that can be written in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0 can be solved by factoring. I want you to follow these simple steps. First, equate the trinomial to 0. Second, factor the left-hand member of the equation. Third, set each factor that contains the variable equal to 0. Fourth, simplify. Last, check. To do that, substitute the roots to the original equation. Let's have some examples. Number 1, 3x squared plus 27x equals 0. Observe the equation. The terms 3x squared and 27x has a greatest common factor. At ang kanyang greatest common factor ay 3x. To get the other factor, let us divide 3x squared plus 27x by 3x and it will become x plus 9. To check whether these two factors are correct, you can apply the distributive property. And of course, do not forget to equate these two factors by 0. 3x equals 0. To solve this, let us divide the both sides of the equation by 3. Simplify, then x equals 0. x plus 9 equals 0. Subtract 9 to both sides of the equation. Simplify, then x equals negative 9. Let's do the checking. To check, substitute the values 0 and negative 9 to the original equation 3x squared plus 27x equals 0. Let's start with if x equals 0. Substitute. Kapag sinimplify natin ito, ang sagot ay magiging 0. So 0 equals 0. If x equals negative 9, substitute. If you simplify this, the result is 0. So 0 equals 0. Now, since that the two values satisfies the given quadratic equation, we can say that 0 and negative 9 are the roots of 3x squared plus 27x equals 0. Let's have number 2 x squared plus 5x plus 6 equals 0. Ang factor ng trinomial x squared plus 5x plus 6 ay x plus 2 at x plus 3. Let us equate these two factors by 0. x plus 2 equals 0. Subtract 2 to both sides of the equation. Simplify, then x equals negative 2. x plus 3 equals 0. Subtract 3 to both sides of the equation, then x equals negative 3. Let's do the checking. Substitute the two values to the original equation x squared plus 5x plus 6 equals 0. If x equals negative 2, substitute. Kapag ito ay simplify, the result is 0. So 0 equals 0. If x equals negative 3, substitute. If you simplify this, that is equivalent to 0. So 0 equals 0. Since that the two values satisfies the given quadratic equation, 
we can say that negative 2 and negative 3 are the roots of the quadratic equation x squared plus 5x plus 6 equals 0. Number 3. x squared minus 2x minus 15 equals 0. Let us factor. The factors of x squared minus 2x minus 15 are x minus 5 and x plus 3. Do not forget to equate these two factors by 0. x minus 5 equals 0. Solve this, add 5 to both sides of the equation, simplify then x equals 5. x plus 3 equals 0. Subtract 3 to both sides of the equation, simplify then x equals negative 3. Let's do the checking. Substitute these two values to the original equation, x squared minus 2x minus 15 equals 0. Let's start with if x equals positive 5. Substitute, the result of this is 0, so 0 equals 0. If x equals negative 3, substitute, if we simplify this, that is 0, so 0 equals 0. So since that these two values satisfies the given quadratic equation, we can say that 5 and negative 3 are the roots of x squared minus 2x minus 15 equals 0. Number 4. 4x four squared plus 20x minus 24 equals 0. Observe the equation. We can express this equation by its simplified form. To do that, let us divide each term by positive 4. Since that the numerical coefficients 4 and 20 and the constant term negative 24 are all divisible by 4, then it will become x squared plus x minus 6 equals 0. The factors of this trinomial are x minus 1 and x plus 6. Equate these two factors by 0 x minus 1 equals 0. To solve this, add 1 to both sides of the equation. Simplify, then x equals 1. x plus 6 equals 0. Subtract 6 to both sides of the equation. Simplify, then x equals negative 6. Let us check. Substitute these two values to the original equation. x squared plus 5x minus 6 equals 0. You can also use this simplified form. If x equals 1, substitute, then the result is equal to 0. So 0 equals 0. If x equals negative 6, substitute, simplify, then that is equivalent to 0. So 0 equals 0. Since that these two values satisfies the quadratic equation, we can say that positive 1 and negative 6 are the roots of the quadratic equation. Now, if the two roots do not satisfy the quadratic equation, you can always go back to your factoring process. Number 5. 3x squared plus 8x minus 3 equals 0. Since that our a is greater than 1, factor this, I suggest to use the AC method or the X method. The factors of this trinomial are 3x minus 1 and x plus 3. Equate these two factors by 0. 3x minus 1 equals 0. To solve this, add 1 to both sides of the equation. Simplify, then x equals 1 third. x plus 3 equals 0. Subtract 3 to both sides of the equation. Simplify, then x equals negative 3. Let us check. Substitute these two values to the original equation, or you can also use the factor form. Let's start with if x equals 1, substitute, simplify, that is 0, so 0 equals 0. If x equals negative 3, by this time, let us use the original equation. Substitute, if you simplify this, that is 0, 0 equals 0. Since that these two values satisfies the given quadratic equation, we can say that one third and negative three are the roots of the quadratic equation. I hope that this video helps you to understand.
understand how to solve quadratic equations by factoring. Samahan niyo po sa mga susunod pa nating math tutorials.